the Today divorcee, old face bloat Stan Cedar, is again trying to get the attention of his betters. Uh, I think debating Stan Cedar is a waste of time. If he was if he was a good writer, I mean, this guy will do. A, this guy does five ten minute videos on stuff people have written books about. Uh, if he was good at writing books, he would be writing books or essays or something other than cutting and pasting the same crap hashtag majority report hashtag autism hashtag too much free time you know on and hashtag if you want our videos to stay free donate because if you pay all your stuff stan nobody uh well you wouldn't have any viewers then uh because if you're a good actress you'd be doing that but you're not if you're a good talk show host you'd be doing that instead of being an internet show host but you aren't good at that. Uh, if you were a good comedian, you'd be doing that. If you were a good husband, you'd still be married. But you're not. So, uh, Stan Cedar has got this odd... It's almost, I'd say it's kind of maybe a mentally ill outlook that if he challenges somebody and they don't come running to him right then and there, like some drunk at the bar who uh, smells like sardines, if you don't go over... If you don't drop everything you're doing and debate him right now, he wins... And he does it for attention. Uh, I can give one, here's one example of like I suppose when Stan growing up, he could have gone to prom and thrown up in the punch bowl, and he would have gone home. Dad would have already been uh, uh, asleep, just so he didn't have to deal with him. But he was <laughs> he would have told mom <laughs> that he was the center of a how'd prom go? Well, mommy, I was the center of attention, yeah. And then he'd leave out the fact uh, that he threw up in the punch bowl. So. Uh, yeah, Stan's kind of a, he's, he's an oddball. He's got a lot of free time just cranking out videos every day. By the way, Stan, if you paywalled your stuff, he's got, he does all these videos. If you want our stuff to stay free, then don't, if you paywalled your stuff, nobody would watch. In fact, I would guarantee the labor force participation rate uh, of your viewers is probably much lower than the national average. But anyway... Stan wouldn't debate me on, uh, I challenged him, he wouldn't debate me on the most violent jurisdictions in America and the fact that they're overwhelmingly vote Democrat. And they have a lot of black-on-black -black homicide, uh, a lot of fatherless children, a lot of working-age folks taking a break from the workforce. So I guess I'll give Stan credit. He at least works. He's never had a real job. Well, I suppose when he was a talk show host for the short time he was, that's a real job. Uh, but he hasn't had a real job since. Now he just vegetates on the internet. If Stan spent as much time, uh, all the time he obsesses about Dave Rubin and Tucker Carlson and anybody else that doesn't want anything to do with him because he's annoying and has some mental problems. If he spent that, all that time focusing on his marriage, he would still be married. Yeah, if you were a good husband, Stan, you'd also be married. You're... You're not really good at much, except sitting on your fat ass running your mouth all day. But anyways, I did challenge him on the most violent jurisdictions in America, and I've already uh, won that debate. The most violent jurisdictions in America overwhelmingly vote Democrat. You know, you got all these fatherless children. Uh, you got all these fragmented families, right, Stan? All these children that don't live with daddy. Uh, you know something about that, don't you? So he already lost that debate. Now, Stan, if you're looking for another debate, you can put that that religion degree. Because when you're out in California trying to be a comedian, you didn't graduate from any institution you went to out there. So you went to Connecticut and got a, a religion degree from a diploma mill. So here's what you can do. Since I've already beaten you on the most violent jurisdictions in America, you can lose another debate and you'll lose this one even worse. You can put that little religion degree from that diploma mill to use and debate James Patrick Holding on the impossible faith. Now, here's what I would wager you should do, Stan. You're going to have to put some time into this. You may have to actually write a book uh, because there's a lot of material to cover, but I know what you'll probably do is you'll do a 10-minute video and you'll make all kinds of assumptions. So I urge you to officially challenge him, uh, and I'm sure he will take you up on it. He's better. He does oral debates, but he's much better at written debates. You know, reading, that's something I don't think any of your viewers do, which I'm sure... Uh, the labor force participation rate of your viewers, Stan, is much lower than the national average. I'm pretty sure of that. And the ones that do work are probably slicing the lunch meat, uh, pounding the table that they don't make 50 grand a year for slicing the lunch meat. So uh, we'll do this hashtag Sam Cedar won't debate JPH. So every time you do a video looking for attention, and sorry if, the, if I rambled on and went bam, bam around, I didn't have a script or anything. I just decided to do this. Every time Stan Cedar tries to get the attention of one of his betters, 
I'm going to recycle this video in some uh, form and tell you debate James Patrick Holding on the impossible faith. So do your little, t challenge him on it officially, do your little 10 minute video with all your assumptions and then he'll reply and you'll dig yourself an even bigger hole. So there you go, Stan, put that little religion degree to use and uh, we'll see how you do. I don't think you'll do very well, but your ego is uh, the only edge JPH will need in that debate. And I say your ego, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to figure out. I'm not sure if your ego will make you take this or the fact that you know if you open, you know, if you open Pandora's box on that one, you're going to get embarrassed. So it seems like you like uh, one of your favorite things. I've seen this in a lot of people is debating people who don't pay attention to you. And sometimes when someone gives you attention, you don't want it. Like maybe your ex-wife, I suppose. But anyways, uh, see that hashtag Sam Cedar won't debate a JPH. Let's see if Stan Cedar will debate him on the impossible faith and put that little uh, religion degree from that diploma mill to use. Have a nice day.